Hello everyone, I'm Rocksteady World, and today we're going to be taking an interesting versus battle, and that is the Spy X Family cast versus the Five Nights at Freddy's cast. Yes, that is right. I am going to be seeing if you take Lloyd or your individually and putting them in a scenario where they need to rescue Anya from the Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics. So in this situation, we will be swapping out the security guard and his younger sister for Anya and the parents. So Lloyd and your forager. Is everyone ready for this? I know I am. It's a pretty unique matchup. So let's get into these two characters scaling. Alrighty, folks. So, starting off with Five Nights at Freddy's cast, they are quite easy. Most of them are quite impressive, where you can scale them to around wall level. This is due to them being able to rip off limbs, which results in around 200,000... 646 jewels or around wall level and that is probably the best feat you're going to have for attack potency slash durability in the five nights at freddy's cast so getting into their speed in a scene reminiscent to the games we see foxy running down the hallway and thanks to the distance we find out late through measurements we will later find out that this clocks in at a whopping 27 miles per hour so while they're not might not sound impressive compared to the competitors i normally put on this show keep in mind that that is noticeably faster than almost every human being ever to exist so yeah it's safe to say that they are peak human with the ability to produce wall levels of energy, meaning that they can bust through concrete walls of the sort. Alrighty, now let's move on to Spy X Family. So, getting into Spy X Family, we are going to have to establish where they scale. So, to start off, even normal people are able to produce thousands of jewels of energy. This is just due to the fact that it is a anime, so human strength is relatively blown out of proportion, such as a child named Billy being able to dent a metal lamp post with a dodgeball, as shown in his training regiment. And there is only upscaling from there. For example, Yor is able to kick a speeding car at 465 kilojoules. Then, you have her standard arsenal, which would <laughs> include her sports training. And her sports training includes making a crater with a volleyball, which, around, which is able to produce around 3.10 megajoules of force or around wall level yet again, or even sending a volleyball into space, which is 9.5 megajoules. To put into perspective, 9.5 million joules. So it's suffice to say that Yor is a monster in physical combat. However, the really you gotta be honest attack potency is not great without durability and thanks to Newton's third law we are able to establish that she can at least take a significant amount of force that she dishes out meaning that she should also be in that high wall level now getting into speed we're gonna have to once again look at your and Yor is very, very consistently able to dodge sniper rifle shots 
and is also able to serve <laughs> tennis balls at the speed of sound. On top of that, yours one of yours most impressive feats is dodging a spear, which was calculated to move at Mach 2.9, which is incredibly fast. However, the greatest, once again, comes from the Super Sonic Serve, performed by Yor, and Fiona was able to react to said serve, and thanks to the calculations provided, obviously, by other amazing folks who run the wiki, it was calculated to around 3.16 Mach. So it suffice to say that the reaction time is insane, but also their physical running speed is incredibly fast. Meaning that they should be able to move relative to Mach speed. But it is suffice to say that thanks to them reacting to pistol shots, we can at least know that they are moving subsonic. So, let's get in to how they would perform. So starting up, oh wait, I'm forgetting something, aren't I? Yes, that's right. I'm forgetting my local beg for a subscription. Yeah, if you guys don't know, I'm trying to grow my channel out. Currently at 451 subscribers, you know, and I would really like to hit 500 by the end of the year and this continuous pump of content, it would greatly be appreciated. And also, once I hit 500, there will start being rewards, one of those being a Discord server, so look forward to that. And yeah, I hope to continue bringing you guys content, and I hope you guys will continue to keep talking and giving me ideas and, you know, bringing everything to the forefront. Anywho, back to the video. So, what is the scenario in this instance? Well, Anya gets kidnapped by the cast similar to the way it happened in the movies, and Lloyd and Yor go into the parking lot, or arrive at the parking lot of Freddy Fazbear's area. Now, obviously, this they would not want to reveal their secret identities to each other. However, they have risked blowing their cover before for the sake of one another, or in particular, Anya. So... If she were in danger, most likely they would be willing to break cover, or at the very least, get physical, which is very necessary in this scenario, as they do not have the electrocution method seen in the film. So that would mean that they were going to have to physically box the animatronics in order to secure Anya. So, are they able to do that? Yes. Yes, they are. <laughs> I don't know if I've made it very clear yet, but your is going to be ripping the limbs off of these animatronics. She is able to dent steel, and even small children in that universe are able to break pipes. They are able... So, while I do fully understand that the animatronics are very durable and will most likely be stronger than standard mechanical counterparts, especially due to their unnatural appearance they will have to deal with your and if it were a you know 4v1 your would mostly get overwhelmed because the physical gap is large but it is not large enough that numbers cannot overcome it however this is where lloyd comes in see i have not mentioned him very much in this video and that is due to him not performing uh relative he has not performed relatively as physical feats as your however it has been stated in a official question that was answered by the author of the series that while your is a 100 out of 100 in, as far as physical stats lloyd is around 60 to 70 so he is just over half as strong as your so that means he should at least be able to hit and cause damage to the animatronics and while they are able to operate, even if they have dents, most likely Lloyd being a master in every single martial art <laughs> known to man and being one of the greatest current fighters on the planet, 
most likely he would be able to fight his way out of it. And that's completely underestimating them, to be honest. So, in the event that it does come down to a straight brawl, I truly believe that they would survive indefinitely. However, there is a third factor, and that is Springtrap. Springtrap will most likely notice the fact that they are able to physically compete, which is when he will try to get a upper hand on them. The question is, is he any stronger? And the truth is no. So it more depends on the variable of how fast he is able to get there, because I do not believe that your will lose if he does not make his move very quickly. And considering that Lloyd is there to back her up, it will most likely mean that they will survive. And Anya most likely will be rescued. And this will be cleared with relatively mid-difficulty. I would honestly argue that neither of them need to fully utilize their capabilities. Because that this is including a straight-up brawl. Most likely, Lloyd using his his incredible stealth skills to which have not only evaded and a gov the government of an entire country for at least months it would completely allow him to bypass the you know capabilities of standard 1980s <laughs> security measures so So suffice it to say that if Lloyd wanted to, he could potentially lure the animatronics into a 1v1 situation, which is where he would completely dismember them with his help of Yor. And while Anya most likely would need to be rescued as quickly as possible, there is also a possibility that while reading minds, she would be able to completely avoid the danger as the animatronics are not very perceptive of what is around them and have more solely relied on the fact that they are physically superior to every opponent they have reacted to. So yeah, that's just my take. If you guys have any different opinions, I would appreciate it. And I hope to see you all later on. Have a fantastic day, folks.